Hey guys, welcome. And in this video, I'd like to share what this course is about and whether you should take it. In this course, we will create a library from scratch using Swift Package Manager. We will then host this library on GitHub, which allows developers all around the world to consume. In this project, we will build an onboarding feature as you can see on the right screenshot. And developers can easily implement this in their own projects to showcase their app features. We will build this in a way that is modular, configurable, and easy to implement. Most importantly, this course is designed for experienced developers with at least two years experience. I would like to reiterate that this is not a course for beginners. Lastly, if you are a developer by profession like myself and working on big monorepo projects, you may realize that your CI is running slower over time and learning to modularize effectively will add great value to your organization. Hi, welcome back. As you can see on my screen, I have Xcode open as well as the simulator. Currently, this is a blank project, all right? When I hit on the play button, I'm not seeing anything inside the simulator because there is no implementation inside the view controller. However, this project has already integrated our Faith Onboarding Kit library that we'll be building together in this course. So let me quickly show you the GitHub page, which is this one over here. So this is the library that we'll be building together in this course. As you can see, we have the source files inside, and then we do have a very nice readme that provides some very useful information like installation as well as some sample code to quickly start uh, using this uh, library. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to just copy this sample code and I'm going to replace the view controller file over here. So let me just select all and replace that. And then I need to pass in also some images, okay? So as you can see over here, the sample image uh, has some uh, images names and I currently don't have anything in my assets folder. So this is gonna crash if I'm to uh, build this, okay? So I've already prepared some images over here. So let me just drag that inside. And all these images over here correspond with the images inside this data source. So the last thing that I need to do is to provide another view controller. All right, so this is a view controller that uh, this uh, onboarding kit will transit to, which you'll see in just a minute, okay? So I'm just gonna create the view controller over here. So let's create class, another view controller. So let's call this UI view controller and then view did load, super dot view did load. And then I'm going to just distinguish this uh, controller by having a different background color, all right? So maybe I'm just gonna choose yellow. All right, so now with all this sample code added into it, uh, I'm going to run this on the simulator again, and then let's see what we see, okay? So I'm going to just wait for a quick moment, and then we see this very nice onboarding flow. So you can see that as we wait uh, per three seconds, we have this slide that is transiting into the next one, okay? Very nicely done. And then when I hit on the right side of this screen over here, I transit to the next slide. All right, so as you can see, and if, when I tap on the left side of the screen, I'm moving to the previous slide. So uh, same goes for hitting on the next button. It helps me to transit to the next one. And when I finally hit on the get started button, that will bring me to the other view controller, which is this one over here, which means I will see that yellow uh, view controller. All right, so let me click on this right now. And this is the expected uh, result. All right, guys, I hope that you find this intro video useful and I look forward to seeing you in this course.